Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to your collective energy update for a very major transit, which is Saturn moving direct in the sign of Pisces. Now, just a quick astrological overview so you understand this energy before we pull the cards. Um, Saturn moved into Pisces in March, March 7th of this year, and it went retrograde around the middle of June. Saturn in Pisces, just to give you an idea of the archetype, is the Eight of Cups in the Tarot, right? This is moving away from things that have only brought you disappointment, right? And moving towards your Nine of Cups, which is pure joy. Pisces as an archetype is the vast ocean, right? This is deep emotion. This is creativity. It is connecting with other people. It is empathy. It's 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 grand right it is well ruled by jupiter as well as neptune both of these planets represent expansion right jupiter in material things and optimism as well and neptune more so to do with the spiritual side spiritual aspect of our lives now that saturn is in pisces and it is moving direct at zero degrees of pisces it's almost like review time is over right Saturn is the great disciplinarian. It wants to control, but at the same time, it wants to help guide and ground. While Pisces, like I have been mentioning, is that grand ocean, is that depth of feeling, Saturn is the anchor, right? While Saturn was in retrograde, we were just floating along. There was no spiritual discipline, speaking from experience. I had to let go of a lot of my spiritual practices just I just wasn't feeling it right whether it was working with my crystals or it was doing readings for myself or anything like that there was no grounding I was barely meditating I wasn't looking after my spiritual health there was no spiritual routine now that Saturn is moving direct almost instantaneously I'm feeling like myself again see where Pisces is in your chart it's going to help you understand which area of life Saturn is going to be targeting. Targeting sounds a little cruel, but that's what Saturn does, right? It, it wants to put you on a particular path. It likes routine. It likes tradition and structure. So it's almost like grounding your spiritual discipline. That is what Saturn in Pisces now moving direct is going to be all about. So let's see. Let's see what the tarot says. But it's a major transit and Saturn is going to be in Pisces till 2026. So we need to get used to this energy for a while and we need to get used to it fast. Right. Let's see what we have. The Eight of Swords. We have just come out of eclipse season. So it's natural for us to be carrying or reeling from whatever tower moments may have happened. And I'm sure they happened for a lot of us. Page of Swords. Mm -hmm. Ace of Pentacles. The Star. Beautiful. Oh, my cards are flipped over. Would you look at that? We have the Tower, the Ace of Wands and the Two of Swords. That's interesting. I'm going to put them back to see if they come out again. But this is almost like the tower moment that I was talking about earlier. It's almost put us at a crossroads. It's like the drive and the motivation to achieve and do something now that Saturn is gaining momentum is there. But which way do we go? It's almost like that Alice in Wonderland scene, right? Should we go towards the tea party or should we go towards whatever else? The energy is there, but it's almost misguided for now. But with Saturn gaining momentum slowly and steadily, I feel like we will have all the answers that we need. The GPS will be back online. Six of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Ace of Wands again at the bottom of the deck. The Queen of Wands. Aircraft flying overhead. Some of you may be wanting to travel. Travel, go for it. Page of Wands bottom of the deck we have the ace of wands again it refuses to go away with the ace of cups beautiful energy ten of swords of course without this ten of swords to be very frank with you the ace of cups and the ace of wands are meaningless to me they're just happy new beginnings right but 
they're not solid enough. The Ten of Swords, in fact, my display picture as of yesterday is rock bottom will teach you more lessons than mountain tops ever will. And this is exactly that energy for me. A lot of us hit rock bottom with that Ten of Swords, right? It's almost like now with Saturn moving direct, we have earned new beginnings. We've done the work, right? And it's almost like earlier the principal had put you in detention, but now because you gave them an apple or whatever, you're the teacher's pet, right? You're always favored. That is what this energy feels like. But <clears throat> with the Eight of Swords and the Star, it's good to see this. We, we did see the Tower as well. The Tower precedes the Star. The Star talks about healing. The Eight of Swords is almost mini Tower moments, one after the other for me. This is you being stuck in your head, not being able to get out, right? These eclipses almost were like stamps of approval that you need to let that go, let it go, right? Your mind is not going to hold you back anymore. And there's a lot of healing that's happening here. With the Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands bookmarking this spread, it's <clears throat> almost like coming back online, right? Regardless of your sign, it's like things are coming back online, things that were slow, that were sluggish. It's almost like when we didn't have that clear sense of direction, we have that direction now, right? Regardless of gender, the Queen and the Page of Wands, they both are very inspired archetypes right that sense of ambition and inspiration may have gone out the door during this transit like i said it's all coming back online with the page of swords and the six of cups this could very well just be talking about romance it could be talking about a soul connection right where energetic boundaries need to be placed the page of swords can talk about uh, the energy of a spy right keeping an eye on somebody on social media or even energetically that needs to change. We may feel like we're in a no contact situation and we're giving another person space, we're giving the relationship room to breathe. But if you're going to constantly think about that person, you really haven't disconnected. You know what I mean? The Six of Cups is a beautiful energy of nostalgia. You may be going back to March 2023, understanding what it is that didn't work back then. Now is a chance for us to redo things. I will be clarifying. So. We will see, maybe this is someone else's energy attached to you, right? Reminiscing, thinking about you, thinking about how things could have been done better. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Again, with the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck I was get, and the Two of Swords, I was getting that sense of misdirection, not knowing which way to go. And this is pretty much telling me the same thing. This could even be talking about your investments, your career, right? Not knowing where to invest. Give yourself a little bit of time while Saturn is, well, it's, it's gone direct, it's still standing still in the sky. It still hasn't gained that momentum. It still has to go through its post shadow period before and it's, it's an outer planet, right? It has a very large orbit. It takes time to move. So give it time to start gaining speed and you will see the Seven of Cups almost changing into the Eight of Wands. Let's see what we have while we clarify. The Queen of Wands with the Seven of Cups. Direction, 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 direction. Make a to-do list and actually follow it. I feel like, what was that quote? There was something about um, everything you do every single day has to be a step in the direction of your 10-year plan, right? If you're not doing something to achieve that big goal of yours, you're doing something wrong. That's what I'm getting here. We have the Three of Pentacles with the Star and the Eight of Swords. Collaboration. I feel like that we've all gone through this transit, right? You're not the only one. I'm not the only one. Try and understand how this transit has helped other people, right? Collaborate with them. Collaborate and talk about ideas for the future. Talk about ideas for healing. And this can be very interesting because recently um, I have chronic headaches, right? I've been dealing with them for the last one year. And out of the blue, a friend got in touch with me and spoke to me about pranic healing, right? Now, this person I didn't know was so spiritual, right? 
but she was such a firm believer in this particular pranic healer that i actually went to this healer and i actually started feeling better so it's about collaborating with other people and understanding how they have healed and how that healing journey could be of use to you as well getting out of your head doing something out of the ordinary something you would have never thought of before we have the wheel of fortune with the page of swords and the six of cups bottom of the deck i have temperance with the high priestess and the hanged man that's a lot of major arcana with judgment woof and the king of wands king to the queen of wands something is coming back online judgment is an awakening it's a realization it's a redo of something right i was talking about this pile or this column being one of love being one of a soulmate so it's almost like things are turning 180 there is a redo there is a restart there is someone wanting to try again but with a better template this time i reshuffled and the ace of cups is back the ten of swords with the ace of cups and the ace of wands that i saw at the bottom it was talking about karmic lessons right it was talking about about us having earned the right to a new beginning whoever it is that you may have been dealing with i feel like they've pretty much dealt with karma themselves there's been lessons all around with saturn and pisces the ace of cups and the ace of wands i don't need to tell you this is a new start in love and a brand new passionate beginning and then we have strength with the ace of pentacles and the seven of cups what do we have at the bottom we have the empress with the hermit lord of major arcana with the fool and the king of pentacles with the lovers this is stunning and the ace of cups is back after all that shuffling that sense of direction is going to come back very quickly i was talking about saturn being the anchor and pisces being the sea right you will have a sense of purpose now not just you but the person or the people that you are dealing with because you have done so much work on yourself regardless of gender the empress is somebody who has had a serious glow up after a whole lot of heartache after a whole lot of hard work after a whole lot of introspection this transit is going to make sure that we show up as the best version of ourselves and if whatever step you are taking does not resonate with your highest potential now you're going to be wise enough to not take that step plain and simple that's what i'm getting here with strength there is courage now there is vitality now there is energy there is unconditional love for self and for others it's almost like we've been handcuffed right our hearts have been handcuffed but now that empathy and then and that compassion can flow very steadily the empress is back with the page of wands seriously if somebody wants to travel go go for it go ahead travel six of swords it is a card of travel and then we have the seven of swords oh something stuck give me a minute and then we have the five of pentacles if you have to move forward from any kind of abandonment issues now is the time to do so now is the time to get out of that victim mentality that victim mindset that saturn can sometimes put us in right now is the time to forgive do the hoponopono prayer saturn and pisces can hold grudges especially while it's retrograding now that it is moving direct it is time to move on and let go of those grudges not move on from relationships that's not what i'm asking you to do if you're invested in something you're invested in it plain and simple but this is about changing the template of those relationships of those friendships of that relationship with yourself right looking to the future and knowing what it is that you want to achieve now is the time to make those to do less spiritual or otherwise get back to your spiritual routine that is going to be most important crystallize that spiritual discipline get back to journaling get back to yoga get back to meditation get back to doing readings for yourself i'm talking to myself here 
get back to crystal work right because saturn now is not going to let you float away saturn is going to keep you grounded in that vast ocean and whatever this new beginning is that wants to come in for you whether it's in your career or in your love life you've earned it you have earned this new beginning this isn't just being thrown into your lap by the universe the universe is right in the heart of your reading you see that the wheel of fortune that represents the universe for me you have earned this 180 you have earned this second chance make sure you conduct yourself wisely right don't repeat lessons from the past saturn does not like that saturn wants you to graduate to to the, to the next grade not repeat the last one right karmic lessons have been learned you have earned this new beginning be wise about it all right that was it i hope this helped and your um november overviews for each and every sign have been uploaded on the channel if you want to have a look and i will keep doing collective updates for the major transits that are coming about for us all right i will see you in the next one bye bye